we put in our trunk weather stripping, and then we had to redo it because Dad got it wrong. Just a little bit. Hi guys and welcome back to Elias Garage where my dad and I are restoring a 1965 Ford Falcon to become my daily driver. But we've never done this before. So if you saw last week's episode, you might have noticed that we did not put in the trunk weather stripping. Well, we actually did. We installed it, closed it for the first time, which took three people. That's it. Oh! Yeah, teamwork. And we even powdered it when we put it out in the sun for the first time. But. It was all wrong right from the start. We came across this problem when we were looking at the instructions and trying to figure out how exactly to put in the weather stripping. When I was looking at the instructions that were printed from Dennis Carpenter on the seal, there was an arrow that said trunk opening. Now to me, that that made that made me think like that was the outside. I don't even know why that trunk. made you no, think that. To me, it, it looked like it was the outside of the trunk. That's what it that's what it looked like to me. If only someone would have said something. So grab the destructions. So that's our channel mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. So the opening of the trunk is out this way. So this mm -hmm. is this outside edge. Are you sure it doesn't go like this? Yes. Yes. Because that's what it looked like in the picture. No, because it... Uh, no, no, because no, look. Look. Opening of the trunk is where the short is. So this is the opening. Right, but it's uh, the opening of the trunk, I think it means to the outside. I know, but it trunk. it shows like a line here, which I think means like the rest of the metal. Because, yeah, if you do this and lift it up, it doesn't let this go down into the channel. Okay. Um, and if you do it like this, mm -hmm. it goes down in there, okay. like that. It was only when I was editing the last episode when I came across a separate diagram on falconparts.com that had the same diagram from Dennis Carpenter with the addition of one arrow. And that arrow pointed outside. Meaning that yes, I had confidently recommended we install it backwards. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> the only thing to do was to pull the seal completely off and start over. He's not me. This is coming off pretty easy. That's kind of scary. Well, this was the first thing we did. I mean, look, look how easy it's coming off. I know that's what's freaking me out. I just, you know what? I don't think we put and also, look, I don't Look think... at this! It's not even touching! What? It's barely touching there! Dad! Well... How did you think that was right? <laughs> you even demonstrated to me! Look, it fits perfectly this way! Look, this it's... is kinda... This is kinda hard to take off. It's barely touching! Actually, look, this was like that early stage. Remember we said it was kinda green? I don't think it was very mixed up. Like, this is sticking down more. Like, look. Oh, that's black. Oh, but not very much. But it's barely that. Okay, so it's I... not really bad, but it did rip. Right. Go anywhere because it's broken. Well, and here, we can use this as the uh, tester piece to show okay. how we're actually yeah. going to put it. So we put... So this, the big blade, goes like this. Oh, oh, look! That little lip. It's like, so it will cover up, but look, it'll, it'll cover up, uh, it'll cover that. And it fits perfectly. I mean, that's one woman's opinion. Uh, Dad! That does, look, that does look nice. I mean, this is one way to do it, Ellie. This is one way to do it. But the good thing is it will cover up this. But I think the same placement in the channel is the way to go. Dad! Look. <laughs> Just look at this. He specifically said, when I brought up the question of, are you sure it goes that way? He said, Ellie, it goes like this, clearly. It doesn't even touch all the way around. It kind of does. It really doesn't. Okay, <laughs> all right, well then, then turn it around and show, show the way that uh, maybe you think it does. The way it's supposed to go? Yeah, you see how it touches all around? Yes, well that's 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 another way to do it. 
So we'll go with your, your renegade method. <laughs> We talked to one of our Falcon advisors and he said that we could reuse the old trunk seal if it was still in good shape and also mentioned that we didn't necessarily need to get all the old glue off. There we go. Yes. So the seal is all stuck down and it is a ni nice hot day. <laughs> so we are going to put Carl out in the sun to hopefully form the seals better. But like we learned in our last weather stripping video, you need to put some kind of baby powder or something on the seal. So we have cornstarch and someone commented on our last video to put whatever we're putting on the seals in an old sock to make it easier to apply. So let's see how it works. Oh, that actually works really well. Oh yeah, that works great. That's good. That's the caramel. Caramel. Oh man! If you hit it harder, more comes out. Does it now? Does it now? And we're gonna keep this in a little ziplock. <laughs> no. So in case we need it again, we have it. Three, Ready? Two, one. Yeah! Well, it feels pretty good to have the trunk seals in the right way, don't you think? Really? Well, what I'm taking out of the garage is to always listen to your logical daughter when they have an idea about something you're pretty sure about. Special thanks as always to my executive producers, Drew Carter and Kevin and Julia. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing. And I'll see you next time in the garage.